Good morning, my dear guys and my dear students. First of all, let me introduce myself. My name is Kozakhmetova Gujohar Sidakhmetova. I am English teacher. I am work at the Agrotechnical College. It is situated on Matza region, the city of Salvakurga. Our group 131, 107, 121 and 151. Unit number 8 space. The theme of the lesson things you did more to know about space. Today our learning objectives divided into two. The first Use appropriate subject-specific vocabulary and syntax to talk about a range of general and curricular topics. Second, understand specific information and detail in extended texts on a range of familiar general and curricular topics and some unfam unfamiliar topics. And please, my dear students, today we will practice about pronunciation, the names of the planets. First of all, I will say English and Russian variation. And after me, please repeat by one by and listen to me how pronounce the name of the planets. Let's start. Mercury, 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 Venus, Venus, Venera, Earth, Earth, Zimbia, Mars, 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 Jupiter. Jupiter, Jupiter, Saturn, 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 Uranus, Uranus, Uran, Neptune, Neptune. Okay, my dear students, please buy one by a repeat. I give you all two minutes. Let's practice our pronunciation. Let's practice in your vocabulary. Be quick. Okay, good. Thank you. If you are ready, please let's start the next task. And all of you, open your student's book. The text Colored space colonization, future or fantasy. All of you read this text. And I will give you five minutes to read a text. Be quick. Okay, good. If you are ready, let's start, let's start the next task. Answer the questions. We have only three questions. What about this text? Number two. What could be could the problems of space colonization be? How could these problems be solved? Please, my dear students, answer the question. Be quick. We have only three questions. Please. By one by, say me. Thank you. Good. Very good. Excellent. Good. Excellent. Okay. If you are ready, and also we have English grammar. Uh, and please, all of you, watch the video. All the conditional sentence. If you are ready, let's start watch the video. 
Hi, today's lesson is a quick review of all conditionals in English. So that's the zero, first, second, third, and mixed. So if you want a quick reminder of how these conditionals work in English, this is the video for you. If you want a more detailed explanation of each of these conditionals, you can go to the link above now or down below in the comment section. So let's get started. We use the zero conditional to talk about things that are always true. Facts. If you heat water, it boils. This is always true. It's a fact. The form is if plus the present is result in the present. And as with all conditionals, it's not important which clause comes first. So you can switch them around. Okay, next, the first conditional. We use the first conditional when we talk about real and possible situations in the present or future. So for example, if it rains, I will get wet. So this is a real and possible situation. Look at the clouds in the sky and it's talking about the future here. So the form is if plus the present and will plus the bare infinitive. That is the infinitive without two. And you can use going to as well instead of will. So you'd say, so if it rains, I'm going to get wet. Now the second conditional. The second conditional is used to talk about unreal or impossible things in the present or the future. For example, if I won the lottery, I would buy a big house. This is hypothetical. It's not real. Therefore, we use the second conditional. The form is if plus the past simple and would plus the infinitive, the bare infinitive. The most important thing about the second conditional for you to remember is that we're talking about either the present or the future, but we use a past tense in the if clause. And now the third conditional to talk about hypothetical past situations. The third conditional describes the past and it describes something that didn't happen. For example, if I had got up on time, I wouldn't have missed the bus. This is a hypothetical situation in the past. I didn't get on, up on time and I missed the bus. The form is if plus the past perfect and would plus have plus the past participle. Finally, mixed conditionals. This is when you have the second conditional in one clause and the third conditional in the other because the time they are referring to is different. For example, if I had slept last night, here we're using the third conditional to refer to the past, I didn't sleep last night, I wouldn't feel so tired. This is the second conditional and refers to the present situation. So this sentence shows the present consequences of a past action. Or we can have the second conditional in the first clause. If the tickets weren't so expensive, this is referring to a present situation, the tickets are expensive now. So we use the second conditional. I would have gone to the cinema last night. Here we're using the third conditional to refer to the past. So this sentence shows the past consequences of a present situation. Okay, so that's it for today. I hope you feel more confident in using all conditionals in English. Please like and share this video with your friends. Subscribe to my channel so as not to miss out on any more new English language videos. So bye for now. See you very soon. RK all of you watch the video. It is a clear yes about all the three conditional. Okay, if you are ready, let's start practice. We have only eight sentences. Please, my dear students, use all the three conditional. Number one, if Felix to be here, I would have seen him. Second, Mikhail would not agree even if you to ask him.
Number three. If they mention this yesterday, everything would have been done. Number four. If I to find that letter, I will show it to you. Number five. If I meet him, I to invite him. Number second. Would they come if we to invite them? Number seven. The boss be very disappointed if you aren't at the meeting tomorrow. And the last one. The teacher said I will be in the lesson as soon as Jack stopped talking. Okay, my dear students, open your English copy book and write down today's date and please be quick, do it this practice lesson. I give you only five minutes to prepare task. Okay, good, thank you. Are you ready? Yes, good. If you are ready, let's start check. Answer K. Let's start check our exercise. Number one, had been. Number second, asked. Number three, had mentioned it. Number four, find. Number five, will invite. Number six, invited. Number seven will be, and last one stops. Be quick, check it. Your exercise, it is an answer K. Okay, good, very good. Ready? Good, my dear students. And your home task, exercise number four, page 101. Students book. And my dear students, goodbye. See you soon. The next lesson.